Hey, Lloyd Reber here again from my home on Nowhere Road in Madison County, Georgia. I'm here with Annabelle and friends to introduce the topic of needs assessment. Probably the best way I can sum this topic up is with the following motto that you should all commit to memory. Instructional solutions can only solve instructional problems. Now that sounds simple enough, right? Well, a child performing poorly in school because of a hearing impairment needs a hearing aid, not more instruction. A non-English speaking person not doing their job well might be better served by a change in public policy to allow Spanish to be spoken at a job more than a company sponsored training course. I'm sure you're saying to yourself that you would never fall into the trap of suggesting instruction as a solution to these kinds of problems. Well, let me just say that smarter people than you and I have made this mistake. Your best defense to avoid it is to understand this thing called needs assessment. So, the first step in instructional design is to determine what is the problem or the need. In instructional design, a need is a learning or performance gap between where students or employees are and where they ought to be. Even here, the problem may not be solved with more or different instruction. These might just be symptoms of the real problem. So, you need to get data to make the proper diagnosis. If the problem is instructional, only then will instructional design have something to offer. I also like to point out that there's a difference between instructional problems and instructional opportunities. A school that just received a cash gift to build a nature trail suddenly has a tremendous opportunity to teach students about nature. Likewise, if you suddenly find yourself with a new neighbor who owns a cow like Annabelle, then there might be an opportunity for you to learn about dairy farming. Anyhow, try to be mindful of the difference. Either may lead to a great class project. See you online. More hay?